Praise the Lord. We shall arise. This is a month of arising. This is a month to shine. And you shall shine in Jesus' name. Let's have our seat. God bless you. Just want to appreciate every one of us today uh, for coming to this service. It's an unusual Sunday. Uh, we used to do service on Sunday morning, but tonight is a different thing because of the power outage. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday. And so therefore, let's sit down and enjoy in the presence of the Lord God Almighty. Now this month is time is dark the month is a, it's a month of deliverance. It's a great deliverer. And as he deliver us, we will rise, we will shine. We will rise and we will shine. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. You want to rise and you want to shine. Can I see you standing? You really want to rise, you want to shine. Father, I decree in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and shine. Amen. This month of July, you will shine. Amen. Kings will serve you. Amen. Queen will serve you. Amen. Prime Minister of this nation will serve you. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. I decree for those that are looking for a job right now. Lord God Almighty, open door for you. Amen. Where they have said no, they begin to say yes. Amen. Every family that is having one problem or the other, arise and shine. Amen. Let new things begin for you. Amen. For those that are looking to stay permanently in this nation, this month, a month of perfection, the Lord will perfect it. Amen. The Bible says that the Lord looked down from heaven and saw the groaning of the Israelites. By that virtue, this evening we declare and we decree. Because the Bible says, Where our foot to step, the Lord will give unto us. So therefore, for many of us that were waiting on the Lord to give us this land, this is your month of miracle. Amen. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray. Amen. I won't take your time. We're going to be out of here in the next maybe 30, 40 minutes by the special grace of God. Just only want to share some few things. It's going to be a series for this month. And the Lord will help us as we go into the word. Let's open our Bible to the book of Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1. We're going to read verse 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I believe, church, we say amen to that. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee Genesis 1 Genesis 1 and the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the heart was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was what? And there was light. Praise the living Jesus. Now, let's look about this, this, um, this series of um, sermon. I'm going to be talking today about the definition of what means to arise, means to shine. And then by next week, by God's grace, I'll be talking about how can the church arise and shine 
And the, the third series will be, how can you, as an individual, arise and shine? God is saying to us this year that regardless of the challenges confronting us in Australia and even all the world as a whole, that we should arise and we should shine. And God gave us a reason why we must arise and shine. Because it says, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The word of God declared by prophet Isaiah in the book of Isaiah 61, which says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, can be viewed in the following perspectives. Arise and shine is a charge to arise and to take our rightful position in this world. It is a charge to arise and to show forth the glory of God that is resident upon us as God's children. It is a charge to the church of God to shake off our lukewarmness, to free ourselves of all worldly tendencies and all entanglement of sin, and to begin to shine as light in this dark world. And which is one of the major reasons for the existence of the church in the world. It is a church to arise, to shake off every obstacles, such as COVID-19, idolatry, immoralities, injustice, mediocrity, and to take our rightful place as godly, developed, and successful nation among the nations of the world. What does it mean to arise? Oswald Dictionary defines arise to mean to stand up, to get up from sleep. To get up after lying down. What does it mean to shine? To shine means to give or to reflect light. To beam with steady radiance. To glow. To shine is to be attractive. To shine is to be desirable. To shine is to be different in the midst of darkness. To shine is to give illumination. To shine is to show direction. To shine is to be bright. When we combine the word, arise and shine together. What does it mean? What it means is that to stand up and move from obscurity to popularity. Praise the Lord. If you have been obscured, the Lord will find you out. I said if you have been obscured, the Lord will find you out. To arise and shine means to stand up and move from obscurity to popularity. From being irrelevant to being relevant. I believe somebody will say better amen to that. Praise the 
Praise the Lord. To arise and shine means to move from rejection to acceptance. To arise and shine means to stand up and move away from being a problem to being a solution. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Oh. I learned a lot of lessons from few things. I was reading about the guy that created Zoom. You know we're using Zoom now, isn't it? Praise the Lord. Now, I, I, I read about this guy just only yesterday. I was curious to know who this guy is. And this guy is from Japan. He attempted to go to America nine times. His visa was refused. The ninth time, <laughs> they gave him the visa for one reason or the other. He got to America in 1994. He read mathematics, applied mathematics. He loves coding. And one day, because he was far from Japan, he could not communicate with his girlfriend. And he thought, he sat down in the train and was traveling. I, was start, I started thinking. He said, how is it possible for me even if I can't see this woman physically, I can see on the, on the platform like that. And he started thinking and thinking. For somebody here today, if you have been rejected, from today onward, you shall be accepted. Amen. When God glorify a man, it does not matter what your qualification is. For somebody here today, you will arise. You will not be rejected anymore. I said, where they have said no, they will say yes. In the mighty names of Jesus. Now, some of us, where we are right now is not where we are supposed to be. Sometimes they look at your color. Who are you? Sometimes they look at you and say, ah, who, where are you coming from? Somebody here today, I pray for you. You shall be a solution. Amen. To arise and to shine. What does it mean again? It means to stand up and move away from being a question to become an answer. Else maybe you are not getting the revelation. Your life could be, a, you know, the life of some people are so problematic. In the department that they are, they are working. There are problems all the time. There are no solutions. And when people look at them, you understand that life from head to toe is full of questions. That is not the plan of God for you. That when the Bible says, arise and shine, for your light is come. Because wherever light enter, darkness disappear. Now I told you last month that the reason why we have night is because of the absence of light. And because we are children of God, the Lord has said that when the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, there is no one that has the glory of God that does not shine. Bible talks about the life of Moses. Bible said that when Moses was coming from the mount, from, the, uh, from the, where he got the Ten Commandments from, Mount Sinai, God bless you. The Bible says that the glory of the Lord was upon Moses that his, his face was shining. The Bible says no man could look at his face. 
To the extent that men say, Let Moses, please, just stay there. Don't come near us at all. That is how you can, you know, you can see the glory of God. When you shine light on diamond, it's different. When you drop a diamond in the darkness, you can never appreciate. But when a light is shined upon a diamond, you see the beauty, isn't it? Bible say, no, it is, it is not possible to cover the glory of sun. As dark as it, it could be in the night, when you see one star, you will notice it. And for somebody here tonight, your star will shine. Nobody will cover your glory. If any of your bosses, they are covering your glory, the Lord will remove them on your behalf. Praise the living Jesus. To arise and shine, what does it mean again? Is to be able to stand up and begin to manifest the glory of God for all to see. You must be able to stand up and beam the light of God upon the darkness that surrounds you. You must be able to stand up and to take firm stand against wickedness and all ungodly practices around us, wherever we find ourselves, and indeed in this world at large. Because you are the ambassador of Christ. As children of God, many of us, we have been lying down for too long. Some of us, we are fast asleep. And so therefore, devil has taken advantage of that to afflict us with one problem or the other. He has taken away our right and is holding us in captive to his will. And it is at this time, brethren, that the book of Isaiah 61, 60 was written. That all oh, Christians, we need to arise. We need to bring an end to COVID-19. And all other problems of the world. Because we have to think our stand that all that is ungodly and we begin to heart based on our God-given authority. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. Christians, we've lost the glory. It's so unfortunate. We fear COVID-19 than fellowshipping together. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we should not observe social distancing, we should not do all these things. That's not what I'm saying. We've lost the glory in the sense, you know, that our forefathers, fathers of faith, they defy natural problems. When the Lord is talking to us that we should arise and shine, where are the fathers of faith? Where are they again? In this world that we found ourselves, why is it that the whole of the world could be shaken by COVID-19? Where are the fathers of faith that will stand in the gap of authority and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, let COVID vanish and it will answer. It is because we are sleeping. We don't have authority anymore. Many of us, we are scrawny elter skelter just because of COVID virus. The Bible said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of COVID virus is a destruction. And we need to understand this. We have slept for too long as believers. 
we have lost our authority. Bible says, at the call of the name of Jesus, COVID-19 must bow down. We've lost the authority. We love the God-given control. Now, that's the reason why the whole world is like this. In the times of hold, people rise up. Men of faith rise up. They join faith together. They pray, and God answers. In the time of the Israelite, there was a time in their life. Prophets were rare in the land. And they were crying, where are the physicians? Physicians are lacking. And that's the reason why we are having what we are having. But the Lord is talking to me and to you today, that we should arise and do what? And shine. God wants us to change our perspective. God wants us to change the ways we walk with him. Bible says in the book of Isaiah 59 verse 1. The Bible says, behold, the ant, the Lord's ant is not shutting. Can we read together? Behold. But what happened in verse 2? Praise the living Jesus. Where are men of faith? Where are men like Elijah that they will face the king? Where are the men of, you know, like Elijah that will face Jezebel? The sin is finding the whole world. And that's the reason for all this pandemic. And we are all fearful. God wants me and you to arise. God wants me and me and you, you understand, to arise from our slumber. Believers, we have slept enough. It's high time for us to take charge, to take position. God wants me and you to take position. He wants us to be in, in authority so that we can, you know, we can we can speak. The Bible said that you speak the word, and the word healed them. Believers, we should be able to speak the word to the environment and end the COVID virus. Where are the men of faith? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 1 to 11, Herod arrested and killed James. The reason why that happened was because the believers failed to arise. And when Herod saw that he prevailed against the man, what did he do? The Bible says he laid his hands upon Peter and put Peter into cell as well. You know, we say something in my local language that when the big uh, offense comes, the small, small one, we do what? We start penetrating. I'm not sure whether I've said it very well. So, when Herod laid his hand on James and he killed him, he decided to take Peter as well. And he put him into jail. And let me tell you, the same faith that befell James would have befallen Peter. If at the end of the day, the church did not arise to pray. The Bible says they came together and they were doing what? And they were praying. And what happened? Because the Bible says that the, 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 the prayer of the righteous availeth much. We were talking about it on Friday. That the prayer that we must pray must be an heartfelt prayer. Praise the Lord. When your prayer does not move you, it does not move God. Maybe you don't understand what I'm saying. When you pray and your prayer 
It's not moving you. That prayer cannot do what? It can't move God. Praise the Lord. So those people, they realize that they have to do something. They, are, you know, they use God's God-given weapon of prayer. And Peter was released. Because the, 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 the believers of that time, they did not stop praying. God extended his hand upon Herod. Herod. And God actually did what? He killed Herod. It's a shame when the deliverer needs a deliverance. Maybe you don't understand what I'm saying, church. It's a shame when a deliverer needs a deliverance. Because we are, we, we, we are the deliverer. But sometimes, you understand, we as deliverer, we need what? We need deliverance. Who will do the deliverance? So therefore, brethren, we need to understand that if the church will arise to take a stand in Christ, no power of hell, no agent of darkness, no wicked scheme of men can and will prevail against you. You just have to have a ton of my heart. Now some, some of us, you know, at our place of work, we will run elter skelter. And we are running Elta Skelter because we don't know what to do. You have one unbeliever that is troubling you. An unbeliever that will sit on your promotion and tell you who, are you, who you are. And give you problems while you are writing thesis, giving you a lot of problems while you are doing what you have to do. In order for you to cross to the other side. And they are unbelievers. We need to arise. We need to encourage ourselves. You understand, in the Lord, like David did. He said unto the Israelites, said, Who is this uncircumcised? Who is this unbeliever? And he rose up. He said, In the name of God that I stand, I know I'm going to do what? I'm going to prevail against this man. Brethren, you can arise from you can arise from your slumber. You can arise, you know, from your slumber, because we are serving a God that never sleep nor slumber. You must, you know, you need to resemble your Father, because the Bible says in the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse twenty-six. What does the Bible says there? The Bible says, let me just read. The Bible says, and God said, let us make man in what? In our image and after our likeness. Let them have what? Dominion. It's high time for you as a believer to arise and have dominion. The Lord said we should have what? Dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and all things on the earth. When the Lord said over everything, over everything, the Lord had declared. Because we know principalities walk in high places. And so therefore God declared that whether in the air, whether on the ground, whether under the heart, he said he has given you dominion. But many a times we don't know the authority that we have. We don't know that we are representative of God. We are small God. And we have power and we have authority to be able to do what? To trample over Satan. Even when everything seems to be growing you know, around her, we can say that God, I am formed in your image. And because I am conformed to your image, I have dominion. We have to arise. Don't keep crying. Don't cry over spill milk. Your destiny is not in the hand of any man. And it does not matter. Like I said to you before, night we come, night we go. It does not matter who you are. It does not matter how anointed you are. 
brethren, there will be time in which we are going to be like that, that we are going to be down. But the Bible is encouraging somebody here today. He said, arise and shine because of what? Because the Bible says, for the glory of the Lord will shine upon you. And when the glory of the Lord shine upon you, no man can we tell, can we told you. Speak the word. When you go to your place of work, you are supposed to be a professor. Begin to decree and declare there. Praise the Lord. Begin to decree and declare. I heard about a story of a man that went to an interview. He was not qualified. But he went to that interview with many people who were there. And as he, they started interviewing him and saying a lot of things to him. And the man was saying, listen, sir, I, I need this job. They're asking me, why do you need this job? And he was telling them in boldness. He said, sir, where is the seat for the position you are saying? He said, that's the seat. He said, can't you see my size? It fits that seat. I was talking to you on Friday about a man that was doing a lot of abracadabra in the church. Because he wanted God to use him. And people were asking a question. Did God call you? He said, no worry. Even if God does not call me, I call myself. You can arise from your slumber. You can arise from nothing to something. When I was in the Republic of Ireland, there was a pastor that started. Thus, you cannot despise the day of the small beginning. When this man speaks English, from the one hand to another statement, you just be looking and say, God, may you have mercy. But you know one thing? When you make yourself available, God is ready to use you. And the man will speak, the way we used to say, Otabong. That one means shooting gun. We'll be using past them for present and past participle for it will coin and, and then that time we even almost have a new dictionary. <laughs> there was a governor in Nigeria that was talking about one thing. I'll find out later. He be berism. <laughs> and I think my wife said that that word has gone into the dictionary. He be 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 I said, uh -uh. <laughs> some English you cannot just say, you can't just find solution to them. Even when you look at Russian dictionary, you cannot find it there. Arise and shine. Church, arise. The Lord does not want our number to be like this. We are not me hungry. The Lord has brought us to this nation. It is a promised land. When God took the Israelites to the promised land, they enlarged. Are you getting my point? Now we can demonstrate and demonstrate black life matter. From morning to night, it does not matter. Let's get out of this thing. You know that they are raising. They are not raising. The gift of a man will always make room for him. Let us stop condemning ourselves. Let us say, you no, know, that's the reason why my wife knows me. She can't mention anything about this reason beside me. She knows I don't like it. Because even the word racism is not for me. I don't like using the statement. Who created white more than myself? Bible talks about it. Genesis 1:26. Let us make man in what? He didn't say, let us make man in white and black. What God said, let's make man in our, like, who tells you that this God himself is not black? We know that it's the spirit. Who tells you that God is not even black man? We know God is spirit, isn't it? But I know when we get there, we will see him. Isn't he face to face like this, isn't he? Don't let your color divine you. Don't let where you are coming from define you. Don't let what you are studying in Africa define you. You can go to school at age 50. 
It does not really matter where you are st- where you have started, where you are going to end. That is what matters. So when the Bible is saying, arise and shine, what the Bible is talking to as a church today is that we need to arise from our slumber and move from our obscurity to the level of poverty. That we move from from being a problem to being an answer. That we move from being... Praise the living Jesus. We can. It's not too late. Some of us, we look at ourselves, yes, now I'm 40. And so what? And so what? God spoke unto Joshua at age 120. He said, Joshua, you are a failure. The Lord said unto him, see, you have not covered what I want you to cover. And so therefore, raise men. Raise army officers. You can possess small land. We as blacks in this nation, we can possess this land. We can be governors in this land. I see your amen. amen. Don't even believe yourself. We have PhD orders. Let's pray for each other. When we have PH, PH orders among us, that brother, but they say, Mrs. Hen, help him. We have our professor here. I believe that's a word of confirmation. We have a professor there, Professor Lantoba. Professor, I will continue to call you Professor. He was telling me that in Newcastle, there is no black professor. It is in my own time that I will see Professor in Newcastle University. You can, it depends on you. He will come from my city in Nigeria, Gumosho. Praise the Lord. Though. So that I can have influence in the University of Newcastle. You're thinking that in this nation, it's not who you know. You think only in Africa that we know who you know. If that is the case, you are just joking. I've given people recommendation in this church before. They are looking for HK. I know uh, I'm starting from the beginning, from the low. I will get to the level of right. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the living Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know I will give letter one day. <laughs> to the prime minister. Yeah. Not to nursing home anymore. Because I don't want any of you in the nursing home anymore. I want you to be a CEO, general manager. Yeah. You have to be commander in chief. Yeah. Let king serves you. Let queen serves you. Yeah. That is what it is to arise and shine. The Lord does not want us to just sit down. And crying, God, why did I even come to Australia? You know, when I was in Nigeria, I am better. That's a story. That's a past glory that we were talking about. Don't just sit there and crying. Say that we continue to say, I have one more. The Bible says, when they are casting down, let there be what? Let that be lifting. That is a success. It's a success story. And I'm closing right now. And the second part of our message, he gave the reason and the motivation to arise and shine. He says, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Because when the light of God and the glory of God comes upon the life of a man, the expectation of God is that such a life will rise and show forth that light. You can cover the glory of moon now. When moon wants to shine, will you say, let me carry a uh, maybe an umbrella. Let me just cover that moon so that it will not shine again. Can you do that? 
Even when all the enemies of star, enemies of sun, what can they do? They cannot. Because it is God that gives sun that glory. So no man can cover it. When God glorify you, no man can do what? Can cover your glory. Let's rise up on our feet. I love that song that says, Arise, 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 arise. Take your... Praise the Lord. God wants you to do what? God wants you to do what? And do what? Shine. Not just only arise, so you need to arise, you need to shine. Praise the Lord. Arise, 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 take your place, be a throne. Of your hands unto him. Father, I just pray for every hand that is lifted. Lord, let them arise. Let them shine. Lord, we decree today for promotion. Lord, let there be professors among us. Let there be more engineers among us. Let there be CEOs among us. Lord God, make us a solution. Amen. Make us a problem solver. Amen. Take us from obscurity to popularity. Amen. Take us from being in the relevance to be relevance. Amen. In the mighty names of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let there be breakthrough. Amen. For those that are looking for God, oh Lord God, provide this week for them. Lord God Almighty, let your church arise. Amen. Let your people arise. Amen. Let your soul shine. Amen. Let individuals shine. Amen. Let the children shine. Amen. Let the youth shine. Amen. Let the men shine. Amen. Let the women shine. Amen. Let the family shine. Amen. Let Newcastle shine. Amen. Let city of David shine. Amen. In the mighty names of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we decree. And it is a decree. Amen. Let it be established. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We bless and we honor you. Amen. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Amen.